Elton John took his pet rabbit to the gym. The bunny is quite fit. Today, I will summarize a 2020 action thriller film called, Disturbing the Peace. The movie begins in the peaceful town of Horse Cave, which has a population of less than 1,000 people. Marshal Jim Dillon, the dedicated police chief of the town, is committed to maintaining harmony in this tranquil place. His loyal deputy, Matt Reynolds, is always by his side. One day, two bikers from a notorious gang unexpectedly enter the town, catching Deputy Matt's attention. Intrigued, he asks Jim about the bikers' presence in their quiet town, especially at such an early hour. Jim advises Matt to stay calm, speculating that the gang members may have stumbled upon Horse Cave by accident. However, Matt is not the only one surprised by the bikers. When they enter a nearby cafe, the locals observe them with suspicion, questioning their motives. One of the bikers, Ming Shovelhead, causes trouble by demanding an alcoholic drink from the cafe's owner, Kathy, despite it being morning. Kathy refuses and Shovelhead becomes angry, demanding a beer. Kathy retaliates by hitting him with a bottle, further provoking him. He challenges her to a fight, while his colleague, Jarhead, watches. Just in time, Jim arrives at the cafe and quickly intervenes, stopping the fight and arresting Shovelhead, taking him to the police station. Meanwhile, Jarhead leaves without facing any consequences. At the station, Jim becomes more skeptical about the gang's motives in their town. He orders Matt to transfer Shovelhead to a larger police station in a neighboring city, while he stays behind to guard Horse Cave. Jim's hunch proves correct as Matt is en route to the city. The rest of the biker gang covertly descends on the town, revealing that Shovelhead was a diversion to distract from their main agenda. With the town's defenses compromised, the gang plans to disable the electrical substation, plunging the entire town into darkness. Jim is at Kathy's cafe when the electricity suddenly cuts off, alerting him to the seriousness of the situation. He rushes back to the police station to assess the gravity of the situation. Meanwhile, Matt encounters an individual lying on the side of the road and approaches to help, only to be ambushed. The person turns out to be a member of the biker gang, who holds Matt at gunpoint and takes him captive. This is not the only deception set up by the gang. Another police officer notices a van speeding and tries to stop it, but other gang members ambush and fatally shoot him. One of the gang members, Dirty Bob, disguises himself as the officer and takes over his patrol vehicle. Back in Horse Cave, Jim tries to contact other police departments for backup, but the gang interferes with the communication lines, cutting off any outside help. The town is effectively isolated. Jim's concerns heighten when he hears the sound of approaching motorcycles. He witnesses the gang's intrusion into the town and tries to figure out their plan. However, he is caught off guard when Jarhead sneaks up on him and points a gun at him. The gang's motive becomes clear, they plan to rob the local bank. Diablo, the gang's leader who grew up in Horse Cave, has intimate knowledge of the town and its police force, allowing him to plan the heist accordingly. Diablo has also planted an insider within the bank as a teller. Once they have control of all the bank employees, Diablo orders the bank manager to help open the vault, giving the gang access to the bank's reserves. After successfully robbing the bank, Diablo orders his gang members to confine the bank's staff and the town's residents in a church. However, he keeps Jim and the newly arrived deputy with him. It becomes apparent that the bank robbery is just part of Diablo's larger scheme. He knows about an upcoming large cash deposit from a casino and plans to intercept the armored vehicle transporting the money. The two guards with the armored vehicle are unaware that their destination bank has been robbed, thanks to Diablo cutting off all communication from the town. As they wait for the truck, sudden gunfire erupts from a skilled elderly sniper hidden from sight. The sniper systematically eliminates gang members, forcing the rest into hiding. In the chaos, Jim and Matt manage to escape unnoticed. Unbeknownst to them, Diablo captures a frightened woman nearby and uses her as leverage, threatening to kill her unless the sniper reveals himself. The sniper, recognizing the hostage as his spouse, 
emerges and pleads for her safety. However, Diablo heartlessly shoots the old sniper. Realizing the importance of the female hostage, Diablo tries to manipulate Jim and Matt, threatening to execute her unless they surrender. In a panic, Matt triggers an alarm within their hideout. Knowing a direct assault on the gang is impossible, Jim devises a booby trap inside their shelter. They activate the trap as the gang approaches the front, while Jim and Matt strategically split up to monitor their activity. Diablo and his gang take a brief break, anticipating the arrival of the armored truck. They stay inside the bank, planning to surprise the guards when they enter. When the truck finally arrives, the driver senses something is wrong and asks his colleague to scout the bank while he stays in the vehicle. Unbeknownst to them, Diablo's gang is waiting inside the bank. They quickly capture the investigating guard and bring him back to the truck. They demand that the driver unlock the vehicle, but he refuses. Diablo cold-bloodedly shoots the captured guard. With the guard out of the picture, Diablo and his gang use explosives to force entry into the truck's rear compartment. Once they secure the cash, they rush to the church where the townspeople and bank employees are held captive. Diablo targets Kathy, intending to use her as leverage against Jim and Matt. Meanwhile, Matt positions himself near the church with his long-barreled weapon, planning to take out Diablo and his gang with precise shots. However, Jim, aware of Matt's limitations in long-distance shooting, fears that Kathy might be hit by a stray bullet. He discourages Matt from taking the shot. Determined to help Kathy, Matt decides to confront Diablo directly and opens fire. Seeing Matt's bravery, Jim is compelled to shoot one of the gang members, enraging Diablo. Diablo orders his men to bring Kathy and Matt back inside the church. He then gathers some of his gang members to track down and capture Jim, unaware of the traps Jim has set up throughout the area. One of these traps, cleverly hidden in a car, causes a massive explosion when a gang member unknowingly activates it. Inside the church, Kathy discreetly informs Matt about a radio located in one of the rooms. She suggests they use it to call for backup from nearby police stations. Matt seizes the opportunity and, when the gang members are momentarily distracted, sneaks into the room and finds the working radio. He sends out an urgent distress call. At the same time, Kathy notices a lapse in one of the gang members' attention and disarms her. With the threat neutralized, she leads the captives to a safer part of town. In another part of town, Jim engages in a fierce firefight with Diablo and one of his main associates. After a prolonged battle, Jim manages to take down the associate, but Diablo escapes and rushes to his car where the remaining gang members a. One of them informs Diablo about incoming police reinforcements, urging them to make a swift escape with the stolen money. Diablo shifts his focus from Jim to ensuring their getaway. Just as Diablo is about to flee, Jim reappears, determined to bring him to justice, despite his dwindling ammunition. Diablo is responsible for the deaths of many innocent people, and Jim believes that only the ultimate punishment can serve justice. He relentlessly chases after Diablo, who tries to escape on a stolen motorbike. Their intense chase is short-lived as Jim's accurate shot causes Diablo's bike to skid and crash. Injured and unable to continue his escape, Diablo finds himself trapped. Jim, resolute in his decision, takes aim and delivers the final blow. This act brings a sense of peace back to the town of Horse Cave. Jim resumes his role as a law enforcer and deepens his relationship with Kathy, his significant other, bringing hope for a better future for the community.